Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking about the seven ways to increase your efficiency. So if you're in business, thinking about being in business, or heck, just want to spend some time with me, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you get something out of it, but there are hundreds, over 300 episodes. In fact, we've been doing this now every single week for almost six years. It's crazy. But go back, listen, catch, binge, maybe you learn something, maybe you don't, maybe you hear my annoying nasally voice, but either way, you catch up on everything you possibly can. And I'll give you something right now it's a secret. No one knows this, but I'm actually a rep for windowcleaner.com. And shameless plug, I want to be your rep. So if you want me to put your orders in, which I hope you do, because I want to be your rep, let me know. 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. Call me, text me, whatever. If I put your uh, order in for you, I get credit. You pay nothing extra. I get a, a, a cut. And it's like a virtual high five. So if you want to be as awesome as I know you are, let me put your orders in. Is that, how's that for a shameless plug? Uh, also, if you haven't yet nerd out, go to awcmag.com and get yourself a subscription. Um, it is American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's absolutely amazing. It's a print version to your door every single day. And of course, there's stickers. So go do that. It would be absolutely phenomenal if you did. But today, that's what we're talking about, the seven ways to increase efficiency, because hopefully spring is kicking in for you. I don't know when you're listening to this, but it is April, and spring is coming. It's a little bit behind, but it's coming. It is going to be here soon. So the best thing you could possibly do is become more efficient, get more things done so that you can actually do more while also, you know, not having to work harder, not having to work more. Where do you work a ton, right? There's no extra hours in the day. We just need to be able to do more with those hours, right? Efficiency is one of those things that the more that you can get done in a shorter amount of time, the easier things are. That systems and everything else that we have always talked about. If uh, you haven't listened, there are a lot of reoccurring themes in this show, and it's because they work so stinking well. Um, the efficiency side of things is what you can control as far as what you get stuff done, what you get done in what amount of time. And this year is going to be absolutely amazing for you. So if it is going to be a big year, you need to be able to get all of that work done without a killing yourself, but b just having it make sense. Right? So let's jump right into the seven ways to increase your efficiency. And the first one is going to be the rain guarantee. Now, this time of year, it really comes into play because people are starting to schedule. People are starting to come out of the woodwork. They need the stuff done, but we still have those kind of spring storms coming, hitting. You're chasing your tail when it comes to uh, getting your work done in between the rain, right? But a seven-day rain guarantee worked phenomenal for me and I know it'll work great for you but you know what a guarantee is more than likely but I'll explain it so within seven days if the rain dirties your windows just let me know and I'll come back and make them look beautiful now there's a couple things working on a rain guarantee a if someone reschedules a call and go hey uh, Jersey, yeah, uh, I got an appointment today at 9 a.m. and uh, ooh, it looks like it's going to rain, so I'd like to reschedule. Well, it always looks like it's going to rain. 50% of the time, it looks like it's going to rain, and it doesn't. You know that. Especially when we get into warmer months, rains come in super fast, they leave super fast, right? And then you end up screwing up a whole day of either your work or what you could do or what your guys could do. You lose it. So what a rain guarantee does is not really guarantees against the rain, which it does, but rain is clean. Rain won't dirty windows. It's very, very rare for that to happen. If it does, it hits something on the way down and really, really, really rare that it happens. But what it does is it makes somebody confident. 
Now, if somebody's confident in booking with you, then they're going to keep their schedule. Yeah, yeah, uh, does look like uh, we're supposed to get some spotty rain today, but don't worry, we have a seven-day rain guarantee. The only time that we'll cancel or reschedule is if the rain is really hard at the time of service, but we'll let you know, don't worry about that. But if the rain dirties your windows within seven days, and that's rain not just today, any time in the seven days, if it rains and dirties your windows, you just let me know, we'll come back and make them look beautiful for you. 95%. That, by the way, is a percentage I pulled out of my rear end. But 95% of people will still have it done. Oh, okay. Well, if that's it, if you want to do that, hate for you to come back, though. Don't worry. Rain is absolutely pure. It won't dirty your windows. But we want to make sure that if it does or something weird happens or we get a monster storm, that you are absolutely covered. Now, let's <clears throat> break down your time. We're talking about efficiency. You have 365 days in a year. Now, take away weekends. That's two uh, days every single week, which ends up taking away about 100 days. So you have about 265 days in the year that you're going to do work. Now, take that. Holidays, winters, and everything else. You see how this number starts dropping. You're really with holidays and times, and obviously the week of Christmas and and, uh, New Year's are slower, right? January, a couple weeks in January might be slower. Maybe there's a week, you know, it's a little bit slower in July for you. Maybe winter hits hard and there's months worth of slow. Now, say you have 200 days that you can do work in a year. Now, Take that and only say you're going to do eight hours a day. That's the time you have. If any of those hours are not being absolutely productive, you're not going to make as much money. You're not going to do. You're not going to be able to recoup that. Just because you take a job and you take it from April, because hey, it's going to rain. Okay, we'll push you. Now you're in June. That same job moves, but today nothing gets done. You could fill June's day, not a problem. You don't need somebody to reschedule because it doesn't fill anything, it just moves it. But now today, you've done zero dollars. Understand that every hour is important and every hour makes you efficient. So Rain Guarantee protects your schedule more than anything, and I'll give you this. In 16 years of owning a business, I had a Rain Guarantee for probably 15, almost the beginning of it. And I had one person call one time and they just thought that I redid it. I just went up to him and I was like, okay, great. Which windows? Because all I'm going to do is go and just like drive off any spots if there is any. Which window looks bad? Go, oh, no, they all look great. Oh, well, you call this back. Oh, I just thought if it rained, you come back. No. Right? So after that, we changed it on the thing. Okay, and just tell me which windows are spotted or still dirty and I'll go back and clean them. People be like, oh, no, none of them. They all look great. Okay. People are not going to call you back. It's just to make them confident. They have to like, um, like, love, and trust you. I'm missing something. But the last one is trust you. They have to be confident in their purchase, right? Okay, getting off of it. The next one's the floater board, which touches on the seven-day rain guarantee. Again, eight hours a day for those 200 days a year is all you have. Now, you may have a bunch of crews, but each of those crews, you still have eight-hour block that you can fill. If they get done at 5, you're missing hours. Well, now it's 5. They're coming back. It's 3 o'clock. You're like, I got two hours. I got, maybe it's 2 o'clock. Maybe somebody did finally reschedule. Maybe they got some things done. Maybe they fill in the blank. The float board is basically a whiteboard that sits behind me, always, and anytime somebody calls with a gutter cleaning or exterior only cleaning or anything I could do without them being home, I say, great, well, uh, your service doesn't require you to be there, so don't worry. I don't need to schedule an actual physical appointment. We're going to put you in our floater board, which will get you done as soon as possible. Now, don't worry. When we go into your project, uh, not only are we going to call when it's done, let you know it was completed, but we'll also leave the invoice. Have a look at everything. Make sure it looks amazing, and then um, we can go ahead and uh, um, finish up at that time. Let them know. That that's going on and our float board got so full that sometimes we weren't even putting stuff back on the float board but we would schedule a gutter cleaning 
right? They don't need to know that, but I'm going to put it in my schedule because I have such a full float board, which is phenomenal because when it does rain and now all of a sudden that rain is hitting and it's like, you know, noon or two and man, it's downpouring, but it's only here for 15 minutes. I had to reschedule that other job. Now I got this big block. Send the guys out for this. Float board will make you more money. It will fill in your days. It will make you just more money. It'll make you more business. It'll get you more work. It'll fill in those days. And again, eight hours a day for 200 days is all you have. Fill those. This is efficiency, by the way. I'm jumping off kind of what we're talking about. But people always go, well, when do I know when I'm hiring? When all of these efficiencies are 100% and you're still booked out too far, that's when you can look at hiring. And by the way, I had the conversation with somebody. You don't have to hire. You don't need extra people, right? You just don't. So don't feel like you need to hire somebody. Um, if you're a one-man show, don't think that that's the right way to do it. But if that's your plan, that's when you hire. The float board does that. It takes that time, fills it up, and I always have time when somebody goes, hey, all right, we're finishing up. If you are done and you get to my shop back before 5 o'clock, you call me, and I will give you more work right? That is efficiency. I know you want to be the nice guy and you want to let people off early. Oh, yeah, finish your work early. Have a great one, man. No, we're building an empire, right? They can have all those luxuries later. Right now, we're building our efficiencies. The float board does that. Remember, gutter cleaning, outside window cleaning. Uh, we do a lot of driveway cleaning, um, the driveway cleaning is a little bit harder because we'll have to call if we think we're going to do it that day to make sure there's no cars in the driveway. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that you're doing that you don't necessarily need somebody there for, right? Floatboards, killer. Uh, I'm a whiteboard fanatic, by the way. I have a ton of, I have more whiteboards than I should probably have in my office, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> another one that really, really uh, gets you efficient is town block scheduling now block scheduling in general is amazing and i'll tell you when you get to a certain point you're like oh man you know there's how many days are you doing work in this town but then you drive 20 minutes 30 minutes maybe more go do work in that town then you drive 30 minutes back here and you do a job here how many times does that happen a ton right so what you do is you block schedule. So what we did is we had a town that was a sister city, if you will, right next to us. It was like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minute drive. But we were there a lot. We advertised heavy in that area. It was a great market for us. But we did them always on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays were that town day. That means that when somebody called and goes, hey, my address is XYZ in that town. I know that, okay, great. I'm going to plan you on this uh, Tuesday then. Uh, it's going to be on Thursday, the 15th. It's going to be on Tuesday, the 7th. That's, I'm always pushing them on those days. Those are the days that are available. Oh, do you have any other days? If somebody says uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are bad for me, then I'll make it work. That's only happened maybe once or twice. But if anything, they get pushed a little farther. Like if this Tuesday's book and this Thursday's book, they go to next week, Tuesday, Thursday. And what that does is that means that on Tuesday, I go to that town and I do all the homes in that town. What did I do? We run in cruise of two on residential. It's always cruise of two. It's always the most efficient way. Maybe you're even doing more. Maybe you're doing three. But a cruise of two, take a 30-minute drive there and a 30-minute drive back. The drive time is two hours. 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back, one hour, there's two people. Two man hours is wasted just driving to that job. Two man hours. Again, we have eight hours a day per person, 200 days a week or 200 days a year. We're looking at efficiencies. How do we make more things happen in less time, right? Right? So, if you do block, I just saved two hours that one day. What can you get done in two hours? Now, let's just focus on just to put out numbers just for whatever. Say you're doing, we'll say on the low end, $75 a man hour. 
That's fair. Most of you are doing like 100, but $75 a man hour. That means that to drive there, you lost $150. That's not I didn't that, that's not me lying about the numbers. Look at your hourly. 30 minute drive, two people, that's 2 hours of work. 2 hours, you could produce 75 an hour. That's $150. It costs you $150 every time you drive to the other city because you didn't block it that's big when you're looking at efficiencies especially this year is going to be so giant for a lot of you this is a big year how do you handle all of that that's exactly how you handle it block scheduling the same thing goes with optimizing route if you're doing route and you're not optimizing it potentially monthly depending on how much you're selling Put it into a scheduling or a routing software, right? Google does it, uh, some of the mapping programs where you can list out all the addresses. It tells you, right, which is the fastest path to go. Do that every single month. If you have salesmen, if you're selling, if you're getting more route stuff, always optimize. Because in your head, you're like, oh, this makes sense. But it doesn't. Move things. Change things. A route works when your route is so absolutely tight. So absolutely tight. I started doing, we, we did route every single day of the week. We had uh, dedicated route guys like that. That was its own thing. You know, they didn't, it wasn't house guys doing route, but vice versa. So with that being said, to get that person to do more, the tighter their route is, the more money they make. Again, drive time's a killer. When you got a route guy doing 20 jobs, if you had to drive 10 minutes per job, that's 200 minutes you lost by just doing drive. But if I can go and I got all these tight areas and I'm minimizing that, I can get more work done, which means I can get more done in less time or I can get more accounts done in the same amount of day. That increases their hourly. This is how you're efficient, right? You don't need to buy another window cleaning truck and another crew and another everything for route when you can optimize the route you have. Optimize your route. It has to be optimized in order for it to work. The software is to just search, if you're on Google, search. Um, I know a lot of you will ask, but uh, uh, route, uh, route, how would I word it? Anyway, search like route optimization. There's a bunch of sites. Some of them are pay sites. Uh, I think I paid like $9.99 a year or something, and I had this program I could put all my stuff in. And it was a big thing. Yeah, you got a lot of route jobs. But we would block it all, and it would make so much sense. I'm Even if you have office admin, have them do that once a month. It takes it all day to do. But some of the programs allow you to save the route, by the way, and you can just keep adding things in. Uh, some of the programs that you actually have a CRMs do that. But it's so absolutely important as you're building your route. So optimize your route. The number five thing out of the seven ways to increase your efficiency is water fed. Now, hold on. I know you know I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. That's what I do. I put orders in. By the way, just click save this cart when you're in checkout. Save this cart and text me. Be like, yo, Jersey, my, my order is my cart saved. Put it in. That's it. You hit save this cart instead of like checkout. And I do the rest. And it's the same functions it's easy and now you got a guy and i'm ultimately amazingly uh and uh eternally grateful for that anyway shameless plug you know where i am so take it with a grain of salt but going to water fed if you're not using water fed now is the time i am the biggest biggest fan of water fed i love water fed water fed for me is the most amazing tool in water uh, in window cleaning that has ever come out now i know some people you can't use it on everything. Uh, I'm way faster. No, you're not. You are not faster on a ladder. Not at all. I don't care how long you've been doing this. Mr. I have had a company now for 30 years. I don't care. You're probably amazing. You are not faster than a water fed. You are just not faster than a water fed. That is 100% certain. This is not an opinion. This is not, I'm faster. Than no, listen. You move a ladder. You set a ladder. You bring it down. You bring it up. You have to detail you have to squeegee. I don't do any of that. It is always faster with a water fed. Always. Now, with all that big ploy being said, if you have angry things, certainly start a conversation. Go to YouTube and comment away. 
but you're wrong if you think so. Uh, maybe it's not time for you to get into WaterFed, but I think it absolutely is the biggest, best thing you possibly do for your company as far as equipment goes. Now, WaterFed will allow you to do a job twice as fast if it's above one story. If it's one story, you're pretty much on par with squeegeeing, right, by the time. It doesn't really save you anything. You know, there's no ladders to worry about and everything else. It's, it's, it's a little bit faster, and I like it a lot better. But if it's just ground level, you're pretty close. Now, if you're one floor up, two floors, maybe you're on a third floor, you're going to be at least doubling your speed. Now, if I can do a job that, say, pays $1,000, it takes me 10 hours to do, I'm doing $100 an hour. Again, even numbers. Man, cool, $100 an hour. Now, I do that same job, but I do it with water fed. I'm doing it in five hours. Now I'm making $200 an hour and I'm not changing my price because I got better equipment. The mechanic doesn't charge you less because he's got a, a pneumatic drill. It just means he can get more done. Because the next guy who doesn't have water fed is going to charge that $1,000 regardless. Now you're doing $200 an hour. You're getting paid to complete the job, not paid in how much time it takes you to complete the job. Water fed is phenomenal. Every truck, every crew should have water fed every single day. Again, we're talking efficiencies. You could double what your guys are doing in a day. You could cut the time in half. If you're not using water fed right now and you switch to water fed, every crew, say you're six weeks out, hypothetically, you're now three weeks out. You just cut your time in half, how far out you are, now you can do that in half the time. That is where the benefit comes into WaterFed. Now, WaterFed's equipment, it's not cheap, but for 2,500 bucks, you can get a package. I mean, it's absolutely a no-brainer. That is production. If you could get your guys to work twice as fast, what would that mean? What would that mean for your company, right? Get WaterFed. By the way, if you got questions, let me know. It's not a sales pitch, but it is absolutely phenomenal and amazing. Um, the number six thing, to six way to create or increase your efficiency too many words in the title uh is pre-print your invoices now i stuff envelopes every single night we get all everything ready for the next day so when the guys show up they get their folder it's got all the envelopes in there and inside the envelope i got my my invoice because i'm collecting right then and there uh, they're going to be paid for it. I'm going to get my satisfaction form. There's also going to be some things in there that tell other services that I offer. All of that's in there and it's all pre-printed and ready to go. How does that make me more efficient? Well, if you do it the day before, now you're collecting on almost every, if not every, single customer. By pre-printing, not only are you helping with your upsells, you're collecting every single customer. If I don't have to pay somebody to collect the money that I already was there and already did the work, I'm getting more things done. And I'm getting paid for the things that I am doing. It's so much more important than you think is pre-printing invoices. Pre-printing and having those things ready. When the guys come in in the morning, they get their buckets ready, they change their rubbers, we change our rubbers every day. They get new scrubber sleeves and towels, they get the trucks ready, right? And I hand them a binder has everything in there from their calendar, which they write down their in time and out time. I can see drive times that way. I can see how long it took at the job. I can see all that stuff. And everything is right there. They get their stuff ready and they leave. There's no time and waiting and doing all this stuff. Remember, efficiency. Do something now that speeds things up later. Printing an invoice in an envelope will allow all of that to be streamlined. Again, make it a system. Make it a system. I'm telling you, these little changes sound ridiculous, but they are going to increase your, your efficiency tenfold. Right? And the number seven way to increase efficiency. I, I uh, beat this like a dead horse. But it's the dentist clothes. Now, how does the dentist... Let me, let me start off. The dentist closes is this. When I show up to the dentist, I get my teeth done. When I'm all done, they give me a thing and go, okay, here's your next appointment. Right in the chair, my dentist always asks me as they're waiting. All right, well, he'll be in in just a second. Um, did you want to stick to the same day? It's a Tuesday around 10.30 a.m. Does that still work for you? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know what I'm doing in six months. Sure. 
Because they hand me the slip and then that slip is, tells me I had something to do. The mental block that we have to reschedule work is what stops us from rescheduling work. We get done and go, okay, great, well, let us know. And then you go and call them and you send them messages and emails and everything else to try to get them back. Why not do it right then and there when they're happy? They look at the windows, this is amazing, this is the greatest day ever. Great, we'll do this again in three months or six months, which works better for you? Oh, wow, yeah, uh, six months, let's do six months. Okay, great, that's Tuesday here, ninth, got the appointment, don't worry, we'll call you the week before and let you know. Remind you, just like the dentist, right? That's the dentist clothes. But how does the dentist clothes make you more efficient? Now, it books you more work, you will increase your total, you will blow your company up, but how does it make you more efficient? And the reason is, is that if I can schedule, our schedule on the dentist close was about 90, I forget the number now, but I'm gonna say like 93%. Basically every single person, more than nine out of 10, booked it. It just was a thing. It was easy. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. We're happy right now. It's, it's the most amazing thing that I've had. And I, this is great. Why not get them right when they're happy? Now it stops our call list from being so big because all those people on our call list, we call every spring and every fall, everybody who's scheduled, I don't call them. It takes off 93% of our people. All I'm calling is 7% makes it more efficient. I know that I can plan new trucks, new crews. I can budget. I can look at my advertising. I can look at what kind of year it's going to be. I can look at where we are because I can already see what my plan is for September. I can already see who is scheduled for September. How much money do I have on the books already? If I look out, my September's already at like 50 G's. I already know I got $50,000. Well, maybe that means I need to hire. Maybe I need to do something else. Maybe I know my efficiencies are coming up because I'm always going to get new work on top of that. It will make me more efficient by knowing my schedule. Now, if you could hypothetically, and we do this in route, but route is if you did XYZ jobs every week for an entire year, you plan one week and now you know what your entire year or possible future looks like. That's efficient. You know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it. You can plan around it. You can do it. You can, you know exactly what it is. It's going to be absolutely amazing because you're doing the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Well, why would you not want to do that with your customers? That's efficiency. Efficiency is making this thing, this thing that you created, this company that's Amazing, by the way. But making this company run smoother. More money, more time, less headaches, less pressures. More things can get done. It's easier to onboard people because these systems are all in play. All of this stuff happens because of the efficiencies. If you don't believe me, you have seen, and I will guarantee this. Don't say their name out loud. But you've seen companies. You, you've seen companies that are run like a, a chicken coop. They're just absolutely all over the place. There is no rhyme or reason. There is just like so many lacking things and they just don't care. Like, okay, I'm cool, we'll do this thing. You could go into that company, tighten it up and blow it out of the water. Why not do that for your own company? So many of us invest in stock. Do you know what stock is? Stock is taking your money and investing in someone else's company. That's what stock is, right? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Apple, you guys are doing a great job. I'm gonna buy some of your company. I'm gonna give you some money for your stock. If you do good, you'll pay me a dividend. But how many of us don't invest in ourselves? Who better to invest in than us? than our company, than this thing that we have 100% control of how awesome or how sucky it is, right? And it's up to you to change the efficiencies, make it more efficient, make the holes smaller, the company run. If you've not seen an amazing company run, I've seen them. I've seen them, I've even done private coaching for a lot of them. They are run amazingly, meticulously. They're so specific. The holes are so small. Those people have companies that run like 
companies. They run like they should because they're always working on them. They don't have these big lulls. They don't have these times. They don't have these things that they need to improve on. It's absolutely as efficient as possible. And I know you can too. So if you haven't, definitely start fixing those efficiencies. Those are the seven ways to do it, at least in my opinion. And if you got something out of it, remember, I'm a sales rep, an account manager. I'm an account manager. And I want to be your account manager. Does that sound fancier? Let me know. Save my number. It's 862-312-2026. That's a cell phone. Text me. Call me. Whatever. Let me put your orders in. All you have to do is click save this cart in checkout instead of hitting the checkout button. And let me know. I take care of the rest. I'll verify everything. Make sure it's perfect. Get it submitted. Cost you zero dollars to do that. If you want to be amazing and you want to make my day, zero dollars. Zero dollars. Just let me put your order in. Uh, also, it makes my day every time I see a new subscription come through for the America Window Cleaner magazine. Again, that's a magazine that I own and I love and it's amazing and I know you will too. Let's nerd out uh, everything we can. Be better in the company. Get the magazine, awcmag.com. Get the subscription. I have some really amazing stickers coming up, so um, definitely uh, get that. Um, and listen, I know you're amazing. I know your company is awesome. But go and be more efficient. But more importantly, go and be epic.